Using the 5mm syringe is easy, but it does require you to be vigilant of a couple of things. In this case, we've got an order of prednisolone of 20 milligrams, and the strength of the medication is 5 milligrams in 1 mil. You should be able to calculate that you're supposed to give 4 mils. When we click on next task, you'll notice a 5 mil syringe. As you left click on the plunger and move it, you'll notice that there are black lines every 0.2 mils. So there are four black lines between two and three, meaning that each one is spaced at 0.2 mil increments. However, the really important point you need to note is that as you move the plunger, you can actually move it in between those two black lines, which means you can actually essentially achieve 0.1 mils of accuracy on the five mil syringe. In this case, we need to give four mils, so the answer is reasonably straightforward. But hypothetically, if you had to give an answer of 3.5 mils, you could draw up exactly 3.5 mils. There'd be no further requirement to round that. So just be aware that with the 5 mil syringe, even though the black lines are marked at every 0.2 mil increments, you can actually draw the plunger to 0.1 mil positions of accuracy. The other point you should note is that as you move the plunger on any syringe in MedSafe, uh, you get a magnifying effect that lets you see the barrel of the syringe a lot more closely. And in the bottom right corner of that magnifying effect, you can see that it says round your exact answer to the closest 0.1 mils. So it's actually telling you what level of accuracy you must round to for the syringe in question. There's also a syringe guideline, how to round your answer that's hyperlinked. And if you click on that, that'll open a document that'll give you more information about the rounding requirements for every single syringe in MedSafe.